If you have been holding on to your wallet and waiting for Apple to announce the next big thing, I have some news that is going to hurt. But surprisingly, it is also going to save you a fortune. A catastrophic leak from inside Apple's own software development team has just confirmed our worst fears and our best hopes all at once. Usually, in the tech world, we have to rely on blurry photos or shady rumors from anonymous sources. But today, we aren't dealing with gossip. We have cold hard code. And the story this code tells is simple yet shocking. Apple is skipping 2025. If you're sitting there credit card ready, waiting for the M5 Mac Mini to drop, you're going to be waiting a very, very long time. This sounds like bad news. It sounds like a disaster for Apple fans. But stay with me because I'm going to break down exactly why this is actually the best news you could have received today. This leak completely changes the math on buying a computer right now. It is rare to see Apple mess up this badly. They are usually the masters of secrecy, the gatekeepers of the one more thing surprise. But in a massive oversight, Apple engineers left references to unreleased hardware inside a prototype build of iOS. We aren't talking about a sketch on a napkin or a rumor from a supply chain analyst. We're talking about the digital DNA of the company. Hidden deep inside build number 2385234W were two specific identifiers, J873G and J873S. To the average person, those just look like random letters and numbers. But to data miners and tech insiders, those codes are the smoking gun. These are the internal distinct identifiers for the M5 and the M5 Pro Mac Mini. The fact that they're in the code tells us something crucial. The machines are real. They exist. They are built. They're likely sitting in a lab in Cupertino right now running tests. But the context of the leak reveals the bigger picture. It reveals that they're nowhere near ready for public release. Based on the testing cycle seen in this leak and the specific build version they were found in, the release window has been pushed back significantly. We're not looking at a spring event. We aren't looking at late 2025. We are looking at a release window pushed all the way to WWDC 2026. That is June 2026. Let that sink in for a second. We're looking at a gap of nearly 18 months where the desktop Mac lineup is going to stand completely still. Why would Apple leave a massive gap in their release schedule? The answer is simple. Apple has backed itself into a corner. The leak suggests a major bottleneck in chip production. While the M5 chip for the base model Mac Mini appears to be ready, the M5 Ultra chip, the monster processor design for the Mac Studio and Mac Pro, is not. This creates a political problem within Apple's product hierarchy. Apple refuses to launch a cheap entry-level computer, the Mini, before their expensive flagship machine, the Studio. They cannot have a $599 Mac Mini outperforming a $4,000 Mac Studio from the previous generation for six months. It breaks their pricing model. So everything is on hold. The Mac Mini is effectively being held hostage by the Mac Studio because the big brother isn't ready. The little brother isn't allowed to go out and play. Now let's talk about the technology inside that is causing this delay. The M5 is built on a third generation three nanometer process. This is a refinement of what we saw with the M3 and M4. When we talk about nanometers, we're talking about the distance between transistors on the chip. The smaller the distance, the more transistors you can pack in. The more transistors you have, the more calculations you can do per second. However, as we get closer to the physical limits of silicon, the gains are getting smaller. The leaked benchmark suggests the M5 is only about 15% faster than the M4. This is a classic case of diminishing returns. Apple is struggling to find a reason for people to upgrade every single year because the M4 is already so good. The M4 chip, which was released in late 2024, is currently the most powerful small form factor computer on the planet. It already has the new physical design. It has the front facing ports that everyone wanted. It has the advanced cooling system that will be used in the M5 anyway. The chassis isn't changing. The connectivity isn't changing. This leak effectively kills the hype for a 2025 launch. Retailers are gonna have to get aggressive to move stock because of this news. We are about to enter the golden age of M4 pricing. Think about the psychology of buying tech. Usually, if you buy a computer today, you have this nagging worry in the back of your mind. You worry the new one is coming out in six months that will make yours look old and obsolete. This leak just removed that risk entirely. You now have a guaranteed 18-month window where your computer is the latest, greatest model. This kind of longevity in the tech world is unheard of. You are getting a machine that will stay current until the middle of 2026. 
The leaked benchmarks inspect for the M5 point heavily toward AI acceleration. The neural engine is getting the biggest boost. That is great if you are a developer running local large language models or doing complex machine learning research in a lab. But let's be real about what you actually do with your computer. For video editing, for coding, for web browsing, for graphic design, and for 99% of creative work, the M4 is already overkill. The M4 flies through 4K editing. It handles massive logic projects without sweating. The M5 isn't bringing a new design. It isn't bringing a new port layout. It's just a chip swap. If you wait, you would effectively be waiting a year and a half for a computer that looks identical to the one you can buy today for $599. It makes zero sense. The smart money is doing one thing, buying the discounted M4 Mac Mini. You can enjoy incredible performance right now. You can have a new design right now, and you can watch everyone else complain about the long wait until 2026. The Mac Mini has always been the sleeper hit of Apple's lineup. For years, it was the forgotten child left with old Intel chips while the iMac and MacBook got all the love. But with the transition to Apple Silicon, the Mini became a powerhouse. The M4 version specifically fixed every major complaint. It finally added front-facing ports, making it easier to plug in a thumb drive or a camera without reaching around the back. It redesigned the thermal system so the fan rarely even turns on. It is a masterpiece of engineering. When we look at the competition, the Windows world is trying to catch up with Snapdragon X Elite chips and new Intel Core Ultra processors. But they still can't match the efficiency of the Mac Mini. You can't find a Windows machine this small that doesn't sound like a jet engine when you open a Chrome tab. Apple knows they're winning the hardware game, which is why they feel comfortable delaying the M5. They know that even if they wait until 2026, the M4 will still be faster than most PC towers being sold. This delay is a calculated move to protect their profit margins on the higher-end Mac Studio. They want you to feel the need for more power, so you spend $2,000 or $4,000. But for most of us, that's just not necessary. The oops at Apple is a massive win for you. They leak their roadmap, and that roadmap tells us that 2025 is a dead zone for desktops. Do not fall into the trap of waiting for the M5. It is too far away, and the upgrades are too marginal for the average user. Grab an M4 deal while the prices are low. You're getting a machine that outclasses everything else in its price bracket. Whether you're a student, uh, a creative professional, or someone who just wants a fast computer for the home office, the current Mac Mini is the peak of value. The M4 Mac Mini is arguably the best value for money computer Apple has ever released. The size to power ratio is incredible. It outperforms massive desktop towers from just a few years ago. The thermal efficiency means it stays quiet even under heavy loads. The ports are finally where they should be. And the price floor, starting at $599, lowers the barrier to entry for the Mac ecosystem significantly. If you're a video editor, a student, or just need a reliable home computer, the M4 Mac Mini is a buy it for life kind of purchase. Waiting for the M5, especially with this delay, yields diminishing returns. The M4 is the sweet spot. What do you think? Is a 15% speed boost worth waiting until the summer of 2026? Or are you going to grab an M4 deal while the prices are low? Let me know your game plan in the comments below. I read every single one. And if you want to stay ahead of the market and know exactly when to buy your tech to save the most money, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends who are stuck on old laptops and waiting for a miracle that isn't coming. And hit the T-bell icon so you never miss an update. I'll catch you in the next video with more Insider Updates.